Hello. Okay, so this is going to be a continuation of um, the previous Let's Play. <coughs> where I was playing insane difficulty. Um, so I've currently got 7,000 gold. I'm not going to lie, I can't remember much of what I was left off doing. I'm going to hire these 77 peasants. Um, should always hire some bandits. And what's the score at the moment? I'm going to speak to our our general, Monocon. What's the score? Faction-wise, who still exists? So most territory, Kingdom, Kingdom of Islona, finally. We're, uh, we're giving Kaldar's domain a little bit of a, a run for their money. So, Watery Northern Cavalry still exist. Grey Banded Rebels, Boulder Gang, the Eric Reindeer Butchers are pretty much on the last leg. Who are the real players? Um, the Goblin Kingdom of, uh, of Iraq are doing very, very well compared to the, the other Goblin Kingdom of Krut, which is dead. The Rebels are soon to die. Um, Kaldar's domain is doing pretty well. Um, Petrut Sultana are doing pretty well. And the Pibble Clan are doing very well. Bandit Horde is holding on. Watery Cavalry are doing insanely well, considering they've got five lands this, this late into the game. Mad. Okay. Either way, we'll figure it out. Let's see if anyone's coming to see us in the th throne. Uh, yeah. Oh, God. Words. Okay. Throne room. <coughs> We've got a farmer. He wants to do his part. Fair. Fair. Fair enough. Okay. You may fight me. Um... Forgive all outlaws, and I'll give you 311 gold. Sold. Alright. Um, let's spare some coins. Sure, have a bunch of money. Um, you were accused of being a rebel. What do you say? I didn't do it. Um, uh, arrest was quite questionable. Alright, alright, let him go. Release him. He was actually a rebel. What a bunch of bastards. Alright. Um, this guy's accused of banditry. You know what, after the last one, I'm just going to send him to the dungeons. Alright. Monocon wants a pay rise of 35 gold. You know what, mate? You've got a weird fate, uh, weird face. You uh, you probably need that thirty-five gold so you can sleep at night. There you go. All right, guy wants to join me because his farmland was ruined by goblins. We will avenge your farmland by fighting goblins. Seventy gold for your advice. Slavery is undesirable. A fair king. Um, there are means to gain. Da -da -da -da. Ah, whatever. Um, a soldier kicked your front door in. Well, why? I'm sure there was a reason for it. Fuck off. Um, and a farmer wants to join to his part of the country. <coughs> okay, so we need to get revenge because some goblins raided this guy's farm, right? So let's get the Lut Council, led by uh, Defel Windbeard. Go on, Defel. Go and attack the uh, the great goblin horde of Krut. Or Iraq, or whatever they're called. And we crushed him. There you go. 117 goblins have died. Not one of my men has. That has avenged your farm. Right. Um, let's explore the realm. No? Alright, black market. What if we uh what can we do here? There are forty three scum. We're gonna hire them all. Um the old wizard's tower. Uh slaver's post. Two hundred and sixteen slaves available. I'm gonna hire all of those. Um Chelub's well. I'm not gonna speak to Chelub. Pile of rubble. Oh, wait, did I did I click the right Ah, here we go. It's a pile of rubble. Okay. There you go. Give a hundred gold to these slum people. Any more want it? Nope, no one wants to join me. Alright, what about Doc Row? So, currently there's a shop that's closed. Um, statue of Zortho the Goblin. It's an abandoned building. Um, we've got a watchtower here. There's a ship called the Black Opal. Um, and they'll do a show for us for 100 gold. Um, and Maria Lena is docked currently. They are selling 210 golds worth of Bluetooth root, I guess. Yes, all or nothing. Okay. Um, so there's yeah, stuff going on here. Guildro, Dragon's Kneecap Tavern we've got. Oh, they're playing Dragon Wench Knight. How can we play? Uh, I'll send a knight. It's a draw. This is rock, paper, scissors, essentially. Um, I win. Dragon beats Wench. All right, cool. We're going we're gonna to leave. We'll call this turn finished, but I'm going to attack the rebels. We're going to send an invasion force purely of slave soldiers. Well, I should do the trick. We lost seven men. Well, fuck me. I think I'm going to send uh, a mercenary army to finish the rebels off. We got 100 peasants this time, this turn. Um, uh, 21 free outlaws enlist my army because I agreed to make them not prisoners anymore. Minor bandit groups have fucked me a little bit. But that's fine. Uh, a lot of lot of battling going on. An attempted invasion on the Valley Men Kingdom, but that failed. Um, yeah, people people are doing stuff and things. All right, um, let's hire a bunch of tribal goblins. 
and you know what? Screw it. Let's get some mercenary groups. Let's finish the rebels. Oh fuck, man! They got killed. Oh well. You find a lost knight who joins me. All right, great. Um, Audrun Fort. I'm not going to repair that, so let's just carry on. Throw room. Oh, what the fuck is going on with your head? It's a hat. Right. Let's play uh, Sudden Death then. All right. So he's removed three ga three dice from play. We've got six left. Ah, oh, I lost straight away. What the fuck? Join me as my game master. Okay. Cool. Um, is he my game master now? There we go. There he is. Weird hat man. Train his skill. We can play uh, the coin flip game. They call heads. It was tails. And we can play sudden death. Okay. One dice. I got three out, luckily. He got one. Shit. Fucking what a lot of little shit. Right, okay. Screw it. Let's invade the rebels. 490 slave soldiers. They've got no lands left. This is as good as done. Farad all the kinslay is dead. There you go. The rebellion is crushed. 10 opinion. 25 knights. 500 soldiers. 500 band. Oh, wait. 50 bandits. 50 tribals. 800 peasants. We freed a massive amount of people. Um, so... Bandits pillage quite a lot of gold from me. Oh no, from the, oh my bandits pillage eight hundred eighty-four from the from the Iraq. Nice. Um, minor bandits pillage a little bit less. He gains three skill. Nothing interesting happened, really. Just average stuff. Okay. Three hundred fifty-nine. I don't have a gold to hire them. Wow. Okay. Tribal goblins it is. I'm going to hire and free a bunch of slaves as well. Because those freed slaves will uh, will help farm and stuff. All right, so that's a thing. Throne room. Who else we got? Got a stomach joke. No. Join my army. Why not? Forcing this to children. Uh, don't want to listen to your song, so get out of my throne room. You may join my army. Nope, not hearing you again. Um. Suddenly the music has stopped. All right, cheat me out all my gold. Whatever, go free. Um, here's three gold. I don't want to play games. Um, I don't want to play games. Didn't you listen to the last guy? I'm gonna steal your children too. Um, get the fuck out of my court, and you get the fuck out of my court too. All right, that'll do. That'll do. So it's ended. Now we're at war with the bandit horde, but they don't appear to have been really doing much with us. Um, so we're gonna leave. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna leave this this sort of do its own thing. A magical explosion killed a bunch of our people. Not a lot of things are happening now. It, we're just getting money, which is not a bad thing. We're gaining five grand per turn. I'm just gonna let this ride out. Let's just keep skipping turns. See what happens. Um, well, busy time. Busy times. All right. Bandit has stolen some money from us, and a wealthy noble has left us even more money than that. Um, a camp from the watery northern cavalry caught fire and a bunch of them have died. What a shame. Um, any lands changed hand? Oh, the Iraq invaded the Great Banded Rebels, which means the Iraq are now one land up. If we have a look. Faction rankings. The Iraq now have nine lands. Holy crap, they're doing well. Great Banded Rebels and the Iraq Reindeer Butchers are both on the verge of being completely shut down. Why don't we uh, speed that process up? Behemoth Rangers, I'm going to hire you to go after the uh, Watery Northern Cavalry. Okay, we beat them. Um, let's invade the Grey Bannered Rebels. I think they're the ones that are soon to die. No, shit, they won. Um, Alright, let's send another mercenary group. Nice. That was it. There was only like one or two left. Um, and the Baldur Gang, was that another one of the ones that was like borderline destroyed? No. Oh well. We'll figure it out. Well, I'm truced with the Baldur Gang, so... I hope I didn't fuck myself. Um, okay, da 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 da. Eh, nothing's really happened again. It's pretty casual. P troop destroyed the Eric Rainy. Oh, they were the ones, the Eric Rainy butchers. Well, the P troop people have destroyed them and stolen their last land. Whoops. Um, where are we, Monocon? Okay. Yeah, P troop Sultana have eight lands. Goblin Kingdom have 9 lands. I have 16. 
um, the Caldos Domain have 10. Uh, Watery Northern Cavalry have really been beaten recently. Jesus Christ, they've got two lands left. Okay, well, let's just uh, ride this out. Um, Sir Umbra, son of Gorvac, the war chief of Boulder Gang, died of old age and has been replaced by Hrogar the Duck Faced. Um, yeah, nothing much else happened. Uh, unexplainable explosion led to the death of 95. 95. Wow. What a load of crap. Okay. Well, no one's attacked anyone. It's uh, it's politically calming down now, finally. Gonna hire a thousand peasants. 500. 500. What? About 400. 300. Alright. Um, I feel like I should do something. No one's attacking me, though, so I'm happy with this. Guess I've established myself as an empire. Here we go. The fires of war have sparked up again. And we've got um, a failed raid by the goblins. Um, however, the bandits have been invaded by Kaldar's Domain and they've succeeded. So a territory has changed hands and the Kaldar's Domain are now stronger, which is worrying because I feel like we're going to come to blows. Um, I'm going to train my staff. Train. 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 All right. Oh, they've all, all gained three, which is pretty good. Um, raid, raids. Purple clan of Kopec invaded the lands of the Boulder Gang. I guess they're not doing well with their new leader. So that's that's mad. New territory changed hands. Purple clan is becoming more prominent. And let's see just how prominent they are. Purple clan. Purple clan. Uh, oh, they have eight lands. They've, they've popped up. They're now stronger than the valley. So if we're looking at sort of empires or or moderate sized kingdoms the best i mean i'm an em I'm, I'm an empire caldos domain is now basically an empire i'm saying anything over 10 i guess in this world um the goblin kingdom of crit or iraq sorry is on the border of becoming just a huge faction the biggest goblin kingdom by far um and then we've got sort of joint three ways the purple clan the valley men and the patriot sultana who are all sort of tying for for strength which is interesting um Baldur gang is going to be destroyed the Watery Northern Cavalry is probably going to be destroyed. The Bandit Horde is probably on its way out. Um, the Ultimate Hill Kingdom has been quiet, but I feel like they're going to get shut down pretty quickly. It'll be interesting to see if any of the uh, kingdoms go to war with large kingdoms. Um, we'll see. All right, Bandit Horde have hired another hundred men from the from Wild Northern Mercenary Outpost. That's going to make you know that's going to have an effect. It's going to change things. Um, they won't be attacked so easily. They've also recruited um, 23 new troops from their four lands. So they're, they're not... I mean, Jesus Christ. The Iraq enlist 40 tribals, 18 berserkers, and 9 warlords. They're, if that's a, a turn-based level of recruitment, which I think it is, they're going to be a, a threat pretty soon because they're growing faster than usual factions would. And again, we've just gained 305, so can't argue with that. Nothing interesting. Um, there we go. Battles have gone on. So bandits tried to raid the Ultimate Hill, Hill Kingdom, which is one of the weakest ones, um, but lost. However, the Ultimate Hill Kingdom... Uh, Hill Kingdom. I can't, can't say that for some reason. It's a tongue twister. Um, they defeated the bandits in a skirmish um, in a sort of retaliation attack. So it appears, while they only have a couple of lands, the Hill Kingdom is not to be trifled with. Um, the bandits were also beaten in a skirmish by Kaldar's Domain, and the, the Goblin Kingdom failed to attack the Patriot Sultanate. So... The big factions are kind of rattling each other now. I mean, I'm surprised the Ultimate Hill Kingdom has managed to uh, fight fight its way out. But similarly, the Bandits aren't exactly the strongest faction, even though they recruited 100 extra last turn. Um, here we go. More ex-rebels. How about that? Rumours of a terrifying monster spread about all the lands. Eodore, the great leader of the Black Market, outlaws and banishes all goblins from the Black Market. Goddamn. This is interesting, actually. I haven't seen this happen. In the, I, I coded this, but I've never seen it run in the game. I want to check this out. So, in theory, anything that has black market goblins should no longer have them. The Hall of Goblin Heroes has been closed. Nice. There's still a statue of Zortho the Goblin, which is uh, confusing. But, you know, whatever. I guess they, uh, they like their heritage. The Dragon's Kneecap Tavern... One of these taverns had a dancing goblin in it, so I guess it doesn't anymore. Hmm. Must have been the one in Guildrail. Can't remember. 
Still interesting to see. Moving on. So I'm just getting stronger. Your champion, Sir Alcrack, the peasant, had an attempt on his life but managed to fend off the attacker. Oh well, who cares? Um, the ultimate hill kingdom raided the bandits, so they've... I guess the bandits have really pissed off the hill kingdom. Maybe the hill kingdom will use the bandits to get themselves back on the saddle. Wow, I'm getting a lot of extra rebels. I'm going to have to sell some of these soldiers. Um, I didn't realize I skipped a turn again. Um, so, the bandit horde have hired another little warband, and the militia disbands. Crap. Um, oh, the valley men kingdom invade the watery northern cavalry, so it's happening, and they're getting screwed up. Failed invasion by the bandits against the hill kingdom. So the bandits are just getting absolutely rinsed. Um, I'm going to sell off a bunch of my soldiers because they're not necessary anymore. 2528. I'm going to convert all of my uh, knights into recruiters so they're actually working for me. That'll be that. I'm getting very rich here. Okay. Um, so another turn goes by, not a lot happens. 19 local witches pledged to join my army officially. Um, there we go, Bald the Gang has been destroyed by the purple clan of uh, Copequeck. Valley Man Kingdom raid the band. Uh, oh wait, oh they didn't raid the, uh, the bandits, they raided the Watery Northern Cavalry, so I'm surprised because they're going to be on the border of being destroyed. Kaldar's the main have taken a land from the bandits and the bandits attempted to take a land from the uh, Hill Kingdom. Wow, it's getting interesting. I'm seeing the bandits falling very soon. I would say the Warrior Northern Cavalry is going to fall first, then the Bandit Horde, and then we'll see where it goes from there. Then all we've got left is Independent Kingdoms and the Goblin Horde, which has managed to hold strong. Bandit Horde have hired a little group of people. Um, that's about it. And there we go. The Valley Kingdom has destroyed the Warrior Northern Cavalry. Kaldor's Domain have defeated the Bandits in a skirmish, and the, um, the Iraq were raided by the, uh, the Tree People. So I'm interested to see where we stand now. I mean, at this point, I've I've established myself in the game. Um, that's what mainly what the the work in the last playthrough was. So this is kind of just chilling as a happy empire. I don't feel the need to invade or raid anyone else anymore or expand my borders um, on total domination. So I'm just watching the diplomacy, I suppose, take place. Um, so we've got a lot of uh, dead factions now. Um, Thanos Banner Horde has three lands. The Pitwell Clan has nine. Valley Men Kingdom has nine. Um, the Iraq have nine. Um, Kaldar's Domain is, is doing very well for themselves now and have 12. Petrol Sultanate have eight. Um, it's interesting to see where, where we're going here. Um, Iraq, Kopec, and the Valley Kingdom are a land away from you know entering the, the double digit territory, which is going to be interesting. We'll see, we'll see where it goes. Okay, so anything happen? Not much. Um, okay. We're making a hell of a lot of money that every turn now. Um, Iraq attempted to raid. Oh, so the goblins are now trying to fight with the um, the tree people. The tree people have retaliated and beaten the uh, the goblins back. Also, the bandits were beaten in the skirmish by um, Copequack. So it looks like Copequack are getting involved. Strange. Uh, Pitwell clan of uh, Copequack defeated the bandits again. Valleyman Kingdom raided the bandits, and Kaldas Domain invaded the bandits. Holy crap, they just got their asses kicked. Big time. Wow. Um, I wouldn't want to be a bandit right now. So they've only got, like, what, two lands left now? It's going to be interesting to see where this goes. Oh, wait, shit. I've just realised something that I probably should have been paying attention to a while ago. The Demon Horde are going to be a thing. I forgot about them. Uh-oh. Shit. Okay, I need to prepare. Alright, let's end the turn. Um, so shit, soldiers have died in a magical explosion. What's gone on? And no one has attacked anyone. A peaceful year. Um, okay, 822. Um, we're going to hire all the tribals, 343. Um, mercenary groups. No, I don't. Hmm. Actually, no, not yet. Um, oh my god, i got to sneeze. <coughs> shit. Okay, I hope headphone users aren't deaf, but maybe it didn't sound too bad. Okay, so I'd like to think I've got enough men now to start pushing my weight around diplomatically. I'm just going to try and... Uh, oh, okay, Cubquare can't be spoken to because they're fucking stupid kobolds. These guys have ten times less men than me, so I'm going to speak to the Valley Men. And Okay, my emissary carries a request to the Valley Men to become your vassal. God King Krampus the Brutal says his kingdom will fall before coming a vassal to you. And he now is at war. Mate. I don't think you realise 
what you're dealing with here. I'm going to tell him again. All right, he accepts. There you go. Glad you uh, you agree there, God King. Um, and the, what about the Ultimate Hill Kingdom as well? They're getting screwed up. Maybe they need my uh, vassalization. They accept straight away. All right. And Kaldar's Domain? No, I haven't got a chance to do it with Kaldar's Domain because they've got a lot of men. And what about Petroot? No. Wow. Surprising they're holding on. So, I vassalized two kingdoms, which means I'm, I'm, I'm basically just an ultimate dominant empire now because I've got two kingdoms underneath me, the Hill Kingdom and the Valley Man Kingdom. Um, so we're going to make sure we have a trade agreement. He warns me that trade can stop at any moment. I will kill you. Right, um, and obviously it is. He won't ally us with, with any old kingdom. What a dick. There's no Valley Barbarians for hire. Um, okay. Well, let's learn about the people we are now part of an empire with. So the Valley Men Kingdom has 1,077 troops and is led by God King Krampus the Brutal. Known to one of the lands, ignorant to the civil customs of other men, its people hail from the valleys. Their fame words are, they cry at the thought of what they saw. We've got Valley Barbarians, 57 battle score, which means they're about 7 stronger than a peasant. A Valley Barbarian Warrior, which is only 25 weaker than a, than a knight, which is quite impressive. And a Barbarian of Crom which is 209 battle score, which is 59 stronger than an, a Knight of Asalona, which means these guys must be absolute brutes. Um, what are their laws? Um, so the, the currency is called Grand Bits. They don't actually believe in arena combat. They're xenophobic um, and don't like people who aren't their own race. Lucky that we're men. Um, they don't allow slavery within their lands uh, and they have a system of equality and spread their armies equally between themselves. Um, okay, this, this is Grand Bits. This is their currency. And they have 57,061 of them. And their currency is 1 to 1. Their battle logs. This is all the, the different stuff they've done. So it looks like they've basically, the entire time, the Valley Man Kingdom have just purely fought with the, the Watching Northern Cavalry, who are now destroyed. Um, well, they actually destroyed them themselves. So it was their, their long-time historical enemy. They've been battling with them since, since the year 110. And defeated them 16 years later oh no wait no 14 years later and then two years later started fighting with the bandits so interesting let's look at their uh, so they have eight low kings of their land this is low king Aragorn the faithless low king Laro low king Karnia low king Grobal low king Gungsol low king Scar the Bear Filch the Demon Hater, and Redder and the Lionheart. Wow, 254 battle score, what a beast. Uh, we have a system of equality and our lands are equal to the defender, the system is fair. I've been a low king for 126 years. Jesus Christ. Okay, um, so that's that. Um, wait, did I skip something? The crown of the kingdom? It's not currently there. Okay. Um, leader information. God King Krampus the Brutal. He's a hostile person. Um, and he's got a battle score of 264, which is insanely strong. Um, let's have a look at their unique locations. Bolag Hovel. Trade post, and another hovel with a weird indented wall. Okay. So, uh, that'll do. That'll do. Alright, what about our other vassal, the Hill Kingdom of Skuld? So, these are fawns, so they are like goat men, because they have goat men feet. Um, so they're trading with us now, which is good. Um, they, they're not going to sell us anyone, um, but they agree to be allied with us. Um, all right, uh, they made up with 940 troops, um, known as half man, half goat, for a generally peaceful woodland dwelling folk. Um, they are their famed words are they are what we wanted. Oh wow, they're actually even stronger than the barbarians at the lower level, 63. So a di and a diathorn would beat a barbarian um, from the valleys. Um, but their higher up units aren't exactly as strong, as far as I can tell. Can't remember. Yellow Flakes is the currency. Um, they have a totalitarian government, so they don't have any lords, and they allow slavery within their lands. It's their currency, battle logs. Basically, he's been fighting with the bandits since the dawn of their kingdom. Um, they have no lords. Yeah, they have no sirs. Strange. Um, and. Okay, the crown, leader information. They got... Jo whoa. Whoa, what the fuck? I'm not going to say what that reminds me of. 
Majoral village. Wow. What, the, wow. what a weird architectural style. Corrin outpost and Calder hovel. Diaphorn, the boob people. Okay. So, these are the people who are now part of our world. Um, now, I need to start building an army because the demons are coming and they're not going to stop when they arrive. So, we're going to allow everyone who comes into my court can join me. No, Brit the Headstrong, you can't leave. How about if I give you 500 gold? Alright, watch. People who touch the Doomstone get exactly what they deserve. That wasn't a joke. Get out. That was terrible. Um, I'm going to force you to your children. Valley Barbarian wants to join me. Why not? We're all part of the same empire. Visited by an old man. Um, sure, have some coins. Oh god, what is this? No, get out. Um, someone wants to join me. Yes, you may join. Um, I don't want any musicians in my court anymore. Um, I don't want to play gambling games. I don't want to play around with changelings. Get the fuck out. Alright. Wow, how many people are bringing their pairs of children here? Um, assaulting a trader. Execute him on the spot. I don't care. Um, yep, sure, we'll give you money. Yep, we'll hire you. Sure, whatever. You can chat your crap. We'll, we'll steal you. Join. And um, the black market is... Okay, whatever. Get out. So, not very fruitful. Um, let's explore the south. We may as well make our way... Whoa, silent nights. All right, yeah. Fort Kulak, owned by bandits. Okay, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say this now. Surrender. I'm going to send my uh, peasants, slave soldiers even. That'll do. We'll send a Valley Barbarian warrior to try and uh, seal the deal. Absolute slaughter. Perfect. Gore the bastard flees, and the fort is mine. Don't really want it. Um, all right, so we've made our way into the south, which is where the Demon Horde will be. So we're going to need to just persist. All right. Um, oh, Eador the Great, the leader of the black market, has died of unknown causes, has been replaced by Jorel the Necromantic. Well, that's worrying. Okay. Um, all right. Pitbull Clan invaded the lands of the bandits. Man, the bandits are going to collapse any time. Right. Um, and Copecrack are the troglodytes. They're not the. They're not a friendly race, so it's not the best thing to hear. All right. We're going to go to the south. Let's continue. Another one. All right, it's the same guy. I'll give him another one of my knights. We just got a lava pit. I'm not going to sacrifice any peasants here. So end the turn. Um, so just general skirmishes and battles between. Um, so, so oh, the Iraq lost the battle. Um, Ultimate Hill Kingdom defeated the bandits. So people were beating the bandits, and the goblins attempted to attack the tree people. That's all that's happened. With every single one of his bandits dead, Fain on the Overlord of Bandits renounces his claim on the lands and flees to foreign lands. Well, I guess that means the bandit horde is dead. Wow. So, they didn't capture all his lands, they just killed everyone that existed in the bandit kingdom and the guy just gave up and fled. That's amazing. Okay. So, does that mean his lands are barren? Yes, they are. Well, his single remaining land, but we'll, we'll claim it. Uh, let's turn those guys into that. I'm going to hire everyone I can. And actually, I'm going to go to the north and see if I can buy things that will make me money. Um, Brawler's Pit. I'm going to buy it. And we're going to upgrade it to the max it can be. And that's fine. Um, Combat Academy. I'm going to hire 435 soldiers. And then we're going to attack the Combat Academy and take it for myself. 369 plus 245 plus 96 bandits, plus 877 goblins, we've, we've surely won this. They held their own. I'll give them that. Economy Academy is mine. Alright, nice. Um, shall we capture the black market? No, not for now. Let's talk to the bartender. We'll buy the tavern. Um, do I not have the money? Oh, damn, I'm just a bit shy. Okay, well, I guess we can wait a bit longer. Um, so, Pichu... Um, oh my god, the Iraq finally defeated the tree folk. That's, uh, that's news. That's big news. I guess that means they're growing faster than the tree folk in number? I don't know. Um, Alright, five, apparently. 81 goblins. Let's go to the north. And let's, uh, let's buy the tavern. This time. Alright, he agrees. The tavern's mine. Manage the tavern. Upgrade the cellar. Can't afford those upgrades. Should earn me a uh, hell of a lot more money now per turn. Let's continue exploring. Uh, I'm going to hire these guys, sure. Shit. Run out of exploration. Um, oh, we're being attacked by Kaldar's Domain. 
Big things are going down, finally. All right. Kaldas the main one? What? They f Whoops, just turned my microphone off. But what a bunch of bastards. What a bunch of bastards. So they actually won. That's worrying, because I was like, oh yeah, I'm building a big army. But I guess it's spread among a bunch of territories, so much so that attacking one territory, you get a smaller amount. Killed some valley barbarians, they killed my diaphorns. Wow. And, and literally, just peasants, man. Just peasants died. Oh no, wait, there were some soldiers. What a battle. What a battle. How many men did they have left? 183. It wasn't, it wasn't too difficult. I mean, they, they basically just cut us to pieces. This is worrying. And what, what was that, an invasion or a... Well, it was just a skirmish. Just to show us their power, I guess. They weren't trying to take anything. Wow. Um, okay, well, time to uh, destroy the domain then. 33. We're going to do it um, without hopefully losing many of my men by hiring mercenaries. So, Blue Clan, do your thing. Go and destroy the... Where are they? Kaldar's Domain. Invade. Wow, they... Wow, that's quite cool, though. That's what the buildings look like, I guess. Enemy Sunlight Knight killed. So, holy crap, though. They killed a lot of mercenaries. And these guys were not weak mercenaries, to what I can tell. Impressive group of hardened elite veterans of war. So this is, like, the best mercenary group you can get. And they still only barely won. And there's no point in hiring them, because that's five grand to get a group of 41 men. Oh, wow. Pike Lords, though. That's a hell of a good name. Right, I'm going to send these little weak guys over now um, to Kaldar's. And they're going to skirmish just to weaken them. So yeah, as we expected, they lost. Killed 46 of them, though. See, maybe they'll learn not to mess with me. Right, let's send another group over. Um, Kaldar's Domain again. This one will be another invasion. Maggot Therikson died. Wow, that time, though, they killed more than they lost. Um, right, let's try Shivering Brotherhood. Um, Kaldar's Domain, skirmish. Wow, that was terrible. All right. Finally, the black bla uh, bleh, words black bannered guard, and um, they are fairly well trained warriors. All right, let's uh, let's send them on an invasion. Nope, they lost. Wow, they got slaughtered. Holy shit! All right, well that'll do. That'll do. That'll teach him. Cost me a lot of money. Uh, so look at the throne room. No. Uh, oh, how many fucking pay rises do you want? No, I refuse. Get out. Yep, I'll hire you, I'll steal your children, give you some money, get out of my court, you may join me, sure have some money, Diaphorna is welcome, I'm going to buy the fruit off you, you can have some money, trade deal with a wagon man, why not? Um, oh, what the fuck, a demon storms into your court and begs sacrifice, he claims he was cursed by a wretched hag and marched all the okay, whatever, If a his eyes are so far apart, if it means a demon is dead, we'll sacrifice a peasant. You have his soldiers pluck a peasant from the streets. The demon utters a few unintelligible sounds and you behead the peasant. The demon bursts into immense spectral flames I can barely fathom and then he, he and the peasant's corpse are gone. Alright, cool. That works. One less demon. Uh, get out of my court. You may join me. Oh, everyone wants a bloody pay rise. I'm not going to come into this court anymore because it's just bad news. Alright, let's explore ancient southern ruins. Cool. You approach some old southern ruins. There isn't much left of what was once stood here but it looks like nothing you've ever seen before. Alright. This guy, man, every time this weird fat carried guy. I don't have any knights to sell. Shit. Alright. Alright. So. Oh, I read my gold thing wrong, so we're actually really poor. Shit, we probably couldn't have afforded a single more attack. Alright, so. Petrude Sultanate defeated the Iraq, so I guess the balance has been restored. Gained 18 grand this turn. Damn, son. Uh, well, I'm good. We're just gonna explore and then relax. Old ruined demonic totem. You approach the ruins of an old demonic totem from times long past. It looks though it is destroyed with old lost magic that has left it, and the surrounding patch of land is completely ruined, or has, and has, and the surrounding patch of land completely ruined for centuries. Okay, I think that makes sense. Um, anything else going on? Petrid Sultana, tree men beating the crap out of uh, goblins. Um, oh, we're being attacked by Carlos Domain again. Uh, this time they lost. I guess those uh, mercenary battles really weakened them. Did they... They got more... Oh no, they lost way more, actually. They really fucked themselves this time. Alright, they failed. This is good. This is very good news. The champion, Fuel the Mountain King, was assassinated. Oh no. Alright. I'm surprised we haven't encountered these uh, demons arising yet. But we, we've got to be getting close now. So, oh, we got Camp Asarak. And this guy again. 
this douchebag, right? Camp Asrag is a small camp of demon, demon worshippers. They occasionally capture and sacrifice vagrant peasants for the demon horde. They worship them every night with blood rituals. There are 101 demon worshippers here. Well, we're going to take that down. Let's, uh, let's, I'm going to send 133 slave soldiers and uh, 57 normal soldiers. And what the hell, we're going to send a barbarian warrior and a sunlight warrior. Alright, we killed them all. The camp is clear. Nice. Right. Um, so that's destroyed. End the turn, I guess. Nice, nice. More more troops. So anything's happened this turn? Nothing really too interesting. And Iraq failed to invade the... Yeah, it's just a battling between the goblins. Ultimate Hill, Hill Kingdom defeated the Valley Men. Oh, wow. Wait! Uh-oh, those are my vassals and they're fighting with each other. I need to stop that. Vassal options. Alright, cease all hostilities. Don't attack anyone at all. Don't attack anyone at all. We're in the same empire, man. How could you guys be so foolish? Alright. Um, murky Hunters, what the hell are they? Your head scout appears before you to find the location of all Murky Hunters groups. What are they? Like, uh, Oh, they're outlaws. Kom Komul, the god-hater. Interesting. You know what? Time's getting on. I want to hire a, uh, a knightly order to keep the order in my lands. It's it's high time that I have one. So I'm gonna hire. Um, I'm gonna hire 15 knights, and we're gonna go to kingdom upgrades, and we are going to build a shrine of harvest. Actually, why did we build that earlier? Crap. Um, and a hall of order. So we've got a a, a hall that holds. Uh, Nobility order, and we've also we'll also be getting more gold from uh, the harvest every turn. Let's go to our buildings. Hall of order. I need ten knights and five grand. Oh shit! I can't afford it, can I? No. All right. We'll wait until next turn. Um. So the murky hunter set fire to several of our flags on various outposts and forts, and people's public opinion in me drops. So these guys are out for blood. Then um, all those innocent flags. Right, let's found the order. The Order of Aslona. Keep it simple. Let's visit their halls. It's currently led by a person called... I don't know. Alright, we're going to ask them to keep order in our lands. Um, that's it. That'll do. Right. Oh, God, the Demon Horde has risen. Uh-oh. Alright, let's watch. Word reaches you that the Demons of the Seven Gate have risen up and marched for civil lands. You each read that one of your territories is ruined in a massive hurricane. Your people have escaped unscathed, but the land is now barren. Jorrell the Necromantic, leader of the Black Market, destroys an old statue of Zorthor the Goblin and replaces it with one of himself. Wow, it's all kicking off this turn, isn't it? Um, the Demon Horde wipe out an entire warband of 108 of your soldiers. Shit. Um, Murky Hunt has ambushed some knights from the Order of Aslona, and they kill 10 of them, losing 34 men in the process. That's every man I had. Ah, oh, damn it. All right. Um... Great unexplainable, uh, unexplainable explosion defeats kills 39 of my men. Um, there's a rumor of terrifying monsters, so more people join the militia. Fuck though, what a bad turn. We've just got, you know, our old friends, all those statues being destroyed. We've got, you know, all this other shit going on. I don't like that. I'm going to go to the black market and we're going to take care of this Zortho hater. Alright, alright. Give it up, you little runt. 300 soldiers should deal with that. Nice. Alright, black market's mine. We're going to put a trade levy down and going to manage the black market. Uh, oh, okay. That's not usual. I'm not trying to attack it. Um, can I replace the statue of this man? Where is it? The statue of Jarl the Necromantic. Damn, I should be able to destroy that. Okay. So, Demon Horde are becoming a problem. Um, are they doing anything else? Demon Horde wipe out an entire village, killing 160 of your peasants. No. No. Uh, we've taken all of the Iraq's gold this season. That's nice. Very nice. Um, Iraq attempted to invade the Peach Root Sultanate and failed. Purple Clan attempted to invade the Ultimate Hill Kingdom. Hey, back off. They're my guys, man. Right. John the Moon. I want you to take care of Copquack. They've overstepped their bounds by attacking my friends. Okay, Laurel the Helm. I'm entrusting you with this task, seeing as uh, everyone is incompetent. They have really interesting structures, though, damn. 
Nice. We took one land. Alright, now do that again. No. Alright. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yes. And again. Damn it. Four. Allison men. Okay. We're almost, uh... Well, the only reason they couldn't finish it is because they couldn't, you know, they're wearing themselves out. Let's see if we can finish this. This is probably completely destroying my uh, finances. Yeah. Okay. 1188. Eight. No. Don't have the money to hire them. Can I hire 100? I guess I can hire like 300, right? No? 200. Uh, tribal Goblins 255. Shit. 55. 100? Uh, 30. 30. 30? Okay, whatever. This'll do. We're going to attack the Demon Horde. Let's do it. And we just gained 305 more troops. Happy days. I'm going to send 2,247 soldiers. 50, no, no knights. 615 bandits. 2,876 goblin tribals. 268 valley barbarians. Valley barbarian warrior. Sunlight. 375 dire fawns. Oh. We killed 106 demons. We've pushed them back. But only temporarily. We've also been attacked by Kaldor's Domain. What the hell are you guys thinking? Oh, they've come in when we're weak. And they've they've beaten us. What a bunch of bastards. Okay. Um, and Bandits under command of Sir Gilk the Green have retaken the black market with no resistance. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Well, that's very problematic. We gained a lot of money this turn, though. So, uh, what else has happened? We lost a skirmish with the demons. Kaldor's Domain... Beat Aslona. We're just getting our ass kicked now out of nowhere. It's like the last couple of turns, it's like we've been cursed. Everything that could have gone wrong seems to have gone wrong. We've got 24 lands now, though, so we're pretty imperial. Um, there we go. Ah, Kaldar's Domain. We've got three f with three for three. We have more troops overall. They have um, more gold. Um, we have more lands. They have more soldiers. We have more peasants. They have more knights. It's very equal. I don't want that though. Well, let's uh, let's mess them up. All right, I'm going to send every mercenary group to Kaldar's domain, just to weaken them, uh, as many as I can afford at least. Ooh, finally won. 500 deaths. That'll do it. Um, invade. It's shit. Okay. Um. Evade. Okay, these guys have got to be the ones. No. No. Okay, well, they learned their lesson. And the Demon Horde has risen again, obviously. Fuck's sake. Um, okay. Word reaches the Demons of Southern Gate have risen up and marched for civil lands again. Oh, no surprise there. Um, group of seven, 27 peasants march through your streets requesting the, your execution. No one stops their protest. Some even walk with them. What? Oh, my public opinion is really low. Shit, what happened? Okay. Um, well, this is going very well. It's, it's weird. I'm kind of doing really well in some aspects and just poorly in, in others. Um, but that's all we've got time for. Um, again, it's been longer than I expected it to be. Um, so this has been a, another playthrough. I'm going to save the game. Um, I can't remember the name of that bandit now. So, um, Or the goblin that we saved it as. So we're going to save the game as... Oh, quick. No, oh, however that was spelled. Oh god, no, I'm, that's going to be really hard to remember. How about save game thing? There you go, that'll do. Okay guys, so thanks for watching. I will catch you next time. Check out the game on Steam if you like it. It's 3 dollars